past is constantly being rewritten and renewed. History is not a static thing that exists out there um, that we can either erase or not erase. History is a collection of stories we tell. It's about whose stories we tell. It's about whose voices we choose to emphasize. The business school was named after Sir John Cass, who was a very um, prominent uh, slave trader. Um, he was directly or indirectly responsible for the enslavement of hundreds of thousands of Africans. In the summer of 2020, there was a global um, upsurge of awareness of racial inequality, uh, violence against people of color. So City then, um, in response to these events, took the decision to set up something called the Historic Review Group, who were interested in investigating not just City's historic ties to the slave trade or any other um, potentially disturbing aspects of, of its history, um, but also ways in which City could, you know, work on improving uh, racial justice and questions of equality um, in the present. The Historic Review Group, um, we recommended that uh, City change the CAS Business School name. We recommended a proactive approach um, to reducing inequalities amongst the staff and student body. And also, um, how do we vet or think about who we should accept funding from? The city is an institution with a lot of complex ties. And in a way, it's very, very difficult to disentangle the legacies of slavery from uh, contemporary uh, British institutions and contemporary British culture. What's really important is that we have a complex and nuanced understanding of Britain's history, that we're able to hold the good with the bad, um, and that we are able to teach students, um, teach citizens, um, a rich, complex, varied, and multifaceted story, which includes how uh, many institutions in British society were built on the spoils of, of slavery. We are not erasing history. Um, we are adding to it, we are making it richer. This is the historical process at work. It is absolutely what history is about.